You know, in an RV, we're always looking for where to put things, and one item that we had a difficult time of trying to locate was where to put the roll of toilet paper. And I didn't really want to put it on the wall or anything, because, you know, I don't want to drill any holes. And, you know, that's understandable. A lot of people feel that way. And what we ended up with is the door. We found a self-adhesive toilet paper holder. And it just sticks on with double-sided tape. And there is a little pin in here to keep the roll from falling off. So that's a good spot. Now you may not think that that's a big deal, but this is just a tip video of how we've done things. And so this may give somebody an idea. On my RV, the only way that you can add water to the fresh water tank, if you don't have city water available, is to use the sanitize function. And I showed how to do that in a previous video by using an 8 gallon water jug and just plumbing it into the water inlet. I can fill the fresh water tank. Unfortunately, it is easy to lose prime when doing so, and it's hard to tell if you actually have water going into the tank or not. So I made a short hose out of 3 quarter inch clear plastic tubing and just a couple of hose mending fittings. And so now I can see if I have water going in or not. I always pack this small portable leaf blower, this Toro Power Sweep, and it's actually pretty small so it doesn't take up much space. And we originally bought it before we had slide toppers and I would use it to get up on top of the slides and blow them off before we left. And while we no longer use it for that, we often like to clean our campsite a little bit when we first arrive because a lot of times, you know, people leave junk around. And as well, it really will stoke a campfire really good. So it's just another one of those little handy tools to have. You may have seen in my Five Things Grilling video this Grill Whisperer apron. And I was able to find a source where you could custom design your own apron logo. And I thought that was kind of cool. And the term, Grill Whisperer, when you think about it, it's kind of a neat idea. This is not very expensive. And who wouldn't want to be known as the Grill Whisperer of the campground? And I'll provide a link where you can get something like this custom made if you want. I was having some issues with opening this door, especially after we went on a trip. It just seems like the shaking of the RV would make this door stick. I put these little finger holds on, and by using these clips, it's much easier to open. 